we're back at it and uh, I'd say we're sufficiently taped off for what we're doing here. Um, actually, that's not 100% true. I'd like to tape off the uh, dorsal fin and the, whatever you call that joint over there and the rest of the windshield. That way I can do the entire roof in one, uh, well, split it up in two sections, but do it all in one, uh, in one go. So uh, after that step, the next step is to use, uh, to go back and take my watch off, um, but to use uh, Americana Global Stripper. This is a residue and oil remover. This is your last step before you um, go ahead and start doing your little polish on your ceramic coated car. If this was not a ceramic coated car, then I would probably go ahead and, not probably, I would definitely want to clay it. But since it's ceramic coated, you do not clay. You just go with this instead. And this is really going to be a, a quick go over. Like I said, I'm getting my, you know, any handprints I have from applying the tape. Um, there shouldn't be anything else on the surface because it's ceramic coated and stuff doesn't really stick. But just in case, uh, this will give you one last chance to really examine each panel closely before I apply a tool to it. So, gonna do that now and uh, when that's done, we'll keep it going. All right, it's all clean, as clean as it can be. I've hit it with um, the Americana Global Stripper. Uh, I've done the whole roof. I've done the trunk and the side of the car. So that's pretty much where I have to stop with my um, polishing. So uh, this is what I'm gonna use today. I'm not fancy, I got a 3D <laughs> machine here, which is, you know, it's, I don't think it's bad, but I don't have a lot of experience. So I can't really say. I'm gonna use uh, the Americana Global five inch black pad. I might switch to a red pad, depending on how this goes. Uh, you know, I don't know. Again, I don't have a whole lot of experience. I have used the black and I've also used the orange and I thought the orange was too hard for what I was doing. Since I'm using finesse, finesse pairs really well. Um, you can pair up finesse with an orange pad, but I personally think finesse pairs better with a black pad. This is Americana Global again, of course. Um, it pairs very well with a black pad. You can also use a red pad um, and that might actually pair even better. The red pad is really soft. So if you've got a lot of hard corners and edges, then that might be a better choice for you. Um, again, you know, you'll have to maybe kind of try it for yourself and see what you like best. So here's what I'm working with. Uh, I don't, I have the new GoPro Hero 9 and it has a, uh, a different bottom to it, if you didn't notice, than the old GoPro. So I can't stick it on any of my like tripods or holders or anything. So here's what we're gonna do. This pad I did use briefly one time. Uh, we're gonna prime this pad. Little dot, that was a little too big. In between all the holes. I'm gonna kind of rub this into the pad a little bit. You don't want it to be soaking or dripping or anything, but you know, if you know what you're doing, then skip this part maybe. This gives you one opportunity to check your pad if it's not the first time using your pad, meaning it's not new out of the package. This gives you a chance to make sure that it then gets set down on a, you know, a pile of uh, metal shavings or something. All right, we're gonna call that primed. Now, next thing I was taught to do Couple little dots again. So that's that's all I've put on there. You can see that pretty well. Smear that onto your panel. That you're about to work. Just smear it all over. sure if this is wet enough, so I'm going to put a little bit more. Remember what I said before, if you're slinging, you're doing too much. That's still the case. So hopefully we don't get to a point where we're slinging. And we're going to set this at a fairly low speed. 
on the 3D, the speed control back here, which I didn't find it at first, so I was doing everything full speed at the beginning. So I'm gonna go with a two and a half. See how that does. wipe off this panel um, and I thought it was time for dinner. I realized I was a little early. So we're not going to do that yet, but what we are going to do is continue on to the door. I was thinking about this and I thought, well, why wipe off this panel just to work on this panel and then have to wipe off that panel and then probably wipe off whatever went over to this panel, you know what I mean, and go down the side. Why not just do the whole thing? Because I'm not really looking for a paint correction so much as I'm looking for a defect removal and those defects are water spots. See the roof. The roof is not on fire. Of course, before I do any um, top coat, I will come back with another um, cleaning of uh, Americana Global Stripper to make sure that I remove any of this uh, polish. Oh my gosh, my dinner. It's in the oven and I didn't know how long to bake it, so I have to keep checking it. Well, that looks really nice. Uh, there is a flaw there of some sort. I don't know if that's something stuck to the paint or if it's 
something worse. I didn't notice this before. It didn't come off with the any of the products I used. Okay. Are the water spots gone? I think they are. All right, I'll find out after dinner. Okay, I finished this panel, this panel, uh, this piece here, and the roof. And I just realized you can see the before and after here on the side. So here's what I was dealing with before. See those water spots? I can't feel them. They don't come off. Well, this is after just uh, that, actually one pass. <laughs> can you see yourself in there? You can see me. Hi. You see my see me perfectly clear now. This was corrected before I did this, so it is a pretty good finish. But uh, yeah, wow. I'm looking at this like man. So I tried to do some um, 3D eraser all over this to get rid of the water spots, and it did help tremendously. But it didn't take 100% of them off. <clears throat> so. I guess what I'm, uh, the conclusion I'm coming to is that the best way to get them off is to um, use a very light polish. If you're chasing water spots, I suggest going through the steps of, you know, vinegar, um, wash, um, use a iron remover like, uh, auto, uh, like Americana Global Release to try to lift stuff off your, you know, use a detergent to try to lift it off your paint um, <clears throat> before you go to machining. Don't just jump right to machining because if you can get it off without machining, then that just, you know, it'll last longer, your coat. All right, well, I'm gonna keep going. I don't think I'm gonna show you guys everything that I'm doing because I'm just gonna keep going with this panel, which uh, obviously, I mean, you saw how quick that was. It's only gonna take me like five minutes to do this, a couple more minutes to do that. I didn't wipe the hood down, so I guess I better do that. <clears throat> and then I want to do as much of the trunk as I can. And then uh, I guess we're going to have to slide the car over or turn it around or something. <clears throat> Excuse me. Well, I guess I ought to get in here. See these water spots? Can you see that? Oh, yeah, you can see them in the light. And they're on the glass, too. So I guess I'm going to have to polish these pieces uh, really delicately. And I might even just do the glass too, since if I use the eraser on that, it might um, might be a little too strong. Oh, one thing I'll say is, okay, so, you know, water spots are essentially a mineral deposit. And I'm getting them off with this pad, which means, if you think about it, where is that going? Well, <coughs> I guess some of it is getting wiped off in the uh, leftover residue. But some of it's going to be embedded in the pad, which means, do I want to use this pad to do the whole car? Probably not. I better at least clean it. Um, I don't really have a good ability to clean it here. <clears throat> I just have a little pancake air compressor. So I'm going to change pads before I move on because I don't want to use uh, what could potentially have minerals in it, calcium, to, <laughs> to buff the rest of the car. I feel like that's a recipe for disaster. I think I'm doing the right thing here. Let me know in the comments below. All right, on to the door. You saw how it was before. I'll show it to you again um, after I finish that. And, uh, yeah. After I finish polishing it. <clears throat> okay, I uh, forget where I was when I stopped the video last. I think I had done the two back panels and had stopped at the door. So I've done the door. And uh, there's still some residue on it. I'm going to have to get that off. Not a big deal. There's still residue on that panel, which you can clearly see from back here. I also figured out um, with the fender, I polished it and I polished it and I polished it. And with the contours, I was afraid to keep polishing it. So I actually got out the old uh, 3D eraser to attack those water spots because they just weren't coming off. So um, if you can see that, like that's what it looked like. And... This is kind of how it is now. Obviously, there's some some residue there. Let me get that off. Let me get that off so it looks the part. Okay, so that residue's gone. 
And you can see, I mean, if you hold it in just the perfect light, you might find some water spots. But man, they're, uh, it's about as good as you can get it without machining. And since my skills with a buffer or a polisher, probably not what they ought to be for that task, I think I'm going to stop and, uh, you know, do my top coat. And then when it's time to uh, visit the Ceramic Pro Auto Spa, I'll let them handle it. Uh, one other thing I did since my last, uh, look at that, hi. So I took the glass, um, there's a lot of water spots, but there's still some here at the top edge. I have a hard time getting up there without mashing into the rubber, so I guess I'll have to put the window down or something. But I got the whole uh, middle of the glass to clear those water spots. Same thing on this glass. Um, this, this panel's looking good. So the next step, I think tomorrow will be... Oh, I did the wing too. Look at the wing. Oh my gosh. It's so perfect. It's super shiny. The whole way down. So anyway, the next step will be to... Um, let me think about it for a second. I guess I'll pull all this tape off of this side, leave it on the roof, but pull it off of this side so that I can do my top coat on the wing. Um, this side. You know, the, the two doors and the two fenders. And then, um, then I'll be ready to switch around to the other side and do it all again over there. So hopefully that goes faster because I really intend to drive this car uh, finished on Saturday. Today's Wednesday. We're getting there. We are getting there.